The FDA has just approved a cutting-edge new cancer therapy. It's a one-time treatment that reprograms the patient's own cells to fight cancer. One Bay Area woman says... It saved her life. She's been battling lymphoma for more than 20 years. Now, KPIX5's Betty Yu shows us she's cancer free. Like it or not, the hospital has become a familiar place to Jackie Pichon. She was first diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma when she was 37. I've lost my hair so many times that it's hard to remember. The 61-year-old Concord resident does remember when her cancer turned more aggressive to large B-cell lymphoma, and her doctors ran out of options. They sent her to a specialist at UCSF, but chemotherapy here didn't work either. So when CAR-T came into the picture with Dr. Andriotis, he said, we're going to try this next, and we're going to keep our fingers crossed. CAR-T is a revolutionary one-time treatment where some of the patient's own immune cells, called T-cells, are removed and reprogrammed by scientists in a lab to fight cancer. Those cells are then put back into the patient. This technology actually rewrites this cell's genetic code, the, the T-cell code, so it actually can recognize and kill a lymphoma cell. It's almost like a sci-fi uh, work of uh, fiction to try and make these cells and it's completely out of the realm of every other therapy we've ever done for not only for cancer for any other medical ailment. Dr. Babis Andriotis calls it computer science on the body. Jackie is one of 10 adult patients in experimental CAR-T trials at UCSF. It's one of the nation's top medical centers that offers it. One month after Jackie's cells were infused back into her body. Right here was a big lump and it just kind of ballooned out. And then after the treatment, it just kind of just melted. First, a large tumor on her face disappeared. Then the first scan proved it. These are the tumors that appeared on her scan before CAR-T. This is after the treatment. It was completely clean. Everything had, had gone. Um, you know, that was... That, that was a special moment. I mean, that was a, a rare moment. Jackie dealt with side effects, severe chills, and a week-long fever. There's been a scan just about every three to six months of a PET scan, and it shows that they were gone. And it's gone? Really? They're gone? So it's, it's very exciting to not to be lymphoma-free after 20 years. It's extremely exciting. More than a year and a half later, she remains cancer-free. Jackie and her husband Daniel recently celebrated with a European vacation. That truly was a medical miracle and every time we give this therapy, um, small miracles happen like that. Dr. Andriotis says nationwide nearly 300 patients are participating in CAR-T trials. It is considered a high-risk treatment in part because the side effects can be severe and in rare cases cause death. Last fall, the FDA approved the first CAR-T therapy for lymphoma patients. I think it's a miracle. It's a medical miracle. Absolutely. They've been working towards this, and I understand it's working with children already. And if it can work for other cancers, I think this is, this could be it. In San Francisco, Betty Yu, KPIX 5. The CAR-T product alone costs more than $370,000, though insurance does cover it in some cases. By the way, Jackie was given 20 years to live when she was 39 years old. She is 61 today, and she says CAR-T saved her life.